In this video, I'm going to explain to you exactly how to revoke permission in MetaMask. And as you can see, they actually have explained it quite well right here in the MetaMask support. As you can see, how to view and revoke token allowances, as you can see. And what you're going to do then is to head into your MetaMask portfolio and make sure your wallet is connected, of course. And the step number two is going to be to head into settings on a desktop browser this is found in the drop down menu on the top left uh, left of the page and you probably know exactly what they mean right here so you just have to find the settings button right here and as you can see they do also demonstrate it right here the settings button so just click on it on mobile hit the hamburger icon on the top left to access it access it as you can see and also click on settings right here as you can see they mean that three like the uh, tri bar symbol in the top left corner I don't know why they actually wrote hamburger but it's the uh, tri bar symbol basically and the step number two is going to be to select the allowances category in the settings menu as you can see if I just going to make it a little bit uh, bigger let's see so allowances right here as you can see so you need to locate this one right here and then you need to locate where it says token as you can see and then click on this button where it says revoke and step number oh sorry they actually write something else here as well make sure you select the account uh, which allowances you want to view you can only select one account at a time yeah of course you just have to select the right account in here step number four is going to be for us to click the revoke but button next to the allowance you want to revoke and that is exactly what they what they actually show in here as well as you can see just click on that button step number four uh, sorry step number five submit a transaction in metamask since revoking requ uh, requires submitting a transaction to the network you will need to pay gas fee to revoke an allowance as you can see so there's actually uh, a gas fee that needs to be uh, paid as well to make this work just so you know but basically this is exactly how to do this so let me know in the comments below maybe if you have any questions and i will try to answer to as many as i can and also i wish you the best day